Cincinnati tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Tackle made at the 40-yard line. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 40. He might have a chance. And he carries the ball for a nice gain. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. That'll bring up second and three. Don't let him breathe. Don't let him breathe. Play that tight deep. <laughs> Nothing there on the keeper. No game on the play. Go ahead, Third down. down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's got an opening. Nice run there. Smart call here to trust your line and the ball carrier to gain the yards they had to for the first down. Taken down around the 40 yard line. That makes it second and so it's second down and about two yards to go. Double tight. Double tight. Four down, four down. 22, 22. Eyes on 22. Here goes down. 51, Mike. Mike, 51. And here's a quick throw. Incomplete pass. From the 33 yard line, first down. Tackle at the 21 yard line. They were very fortunate to come up with that pass. Not the smartest throw that he could have made, but it worked. Just makes you a little nervous when he lets that thing go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Taken down to the backfield. The defense just met the blockers head on and drove them back straight into the runner. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 22 yard line, second down. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. This is the 11th play of this drive. That makes it third and 11. Watch the pass. Go on, Mike 51. Mike 51. Hey, hey, hey let's come down. down. Hey. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop around the 20 yard line. Excellent job here by the That's defense to sniff that yards. one out before it turned into a first Four down. down. Fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Colorado is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Bearcats offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays 
over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. And he's tackled at the 33. He hits him hard at the 36-yard line. Gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. Been a long day for you. Let's go! He scrambles. The ball pops free. Defense says they've got it, and they do. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with a turnover ball. They need to hold on to the football. take over here ready to start a new series they're going to review this fumble and i've got to tell you i think he was down before the ball popped loose i don't know about this one brad they called it a fumble on the field and they need indisputable video evidence to overturn this call after, after review of the, the play the ruling, the ruling on the field, field is reversed, reversed. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And the screen pass goes nowhere. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Quickly to the tailback. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. Brought down at the 12-yard line. set to start things up again. Colorado is up a field goal. Caught open field and down he goes around the nine yard line. That makes it second and six. From the nine yard line. Second down. Quick strike and he drops it. Number six, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Here's the halfback. He's tackled at the six-yard line. So it's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Colorado's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. He goes down at the 45-yard line. First down. He's 
taken down around the 50. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That'll bring up second and 15. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Buffaloes in front by six. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. Runs it right. Nice pickup. Brought down in the open field. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled right away. That makes it second and two. Here we go. He's under some heat. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Cincinnati is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Everywhere we go in college football, everybody's got a T-shirt that says finish, finish. Whether that means finish the game or finish the drive. Right now, this offense is moving the ball, but they're not finishing the drive. They got to execute better down closer to their opponent's territory. Throws a strike over the middle. He's got an opening. Good tackle. He was the last line of defense. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. So the big game resulting from the pass play leads us with a first and ten. And they'll bring him down behind the line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Yard line. Third down. What a play, and that is first and goal. Tackle made around the three yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of one yard. yard. That, that brings up second and goal. goal. It's second and goal. Three yards for the touchdown. Hey, they come out in a goal line set. He tackles him for a loss. The halfback loses a yard on the toss. That makes it third and goal. Roger, Roger. 51, Mike. 
Mike 51! Hey, we gotta get this stop here, D. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Number six is his intended receiver on the play. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Colorado is trying to take the lead here. Kicks up, and he's got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Takes it left side, and he's brought down to the backfield. That makes it second and ten. He's on the run. Got an opening. And he's taken down at the 44. Nice play, baby. Nice play. Game 19 on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Three down. Three down. And they hit him in the backfield. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Two minutes left in the half. Cincinnati's going to take their first time out of the half. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. He goes downtown. Almost intercepted. Excellent punt. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Colorado holds just a two-point lead. He airs it out. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle around the 34-yard line. third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker he lets it go and it's picked off it's the safety and they make the stop at the 37 nice interception and an even nicer vertical oh yeah this guy's an athlete there's no throwing it over this guy's head he'll go up and get it From their own 37-yard line. First down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's tackled at the 47. The Bearcats use their second timeout. He wants it all. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. First down.
It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He fights forward to about the 16. Scrambling around. He's taken off. Five wide. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. He converts the extra point. Cincinnati gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I would be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. A gain of eight on the carry. Get on the throw. He caught it. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Colorado is going to have to use their second time out of the hat. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He heaves it deep. That close to being intercepted. Well, we played a half of football. The Bearcats lead is five. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Defense has been in total control in the first half, and you'd think maybe the offense's confidence was shaken. But if you want to look at the entire team picture, David, how big a deal is it for an offense to know, look, if we can just put together one, maybe two good scoring drives, our defense has got our back? Well, a lot of times when you know you have a defense, it's great, too, is you build your offense around it. And when I say that, why do I need to take chances? You know, if it's third and long, I don't mind throwing a five-yard pass, and if I break a tackle, I get a first down. I mean, don't put my defense that's dominant, that's great, in a bad position, and, and you can afford to be more conservative. You see it every single year. What do we always talk about here at ESPN? We talk about you, you defense wins championships, and that's how you win ball games, and you see it consistently unfold. So if I'm building an offense, let's just not put my great dominant defense in a bad position. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Got a receiver, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 15. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Line. 
And this one is a beauty. He's taken down the 39-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 41-yard line, second down. About the 43 yard line. Gain of two on the play. Third and six. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Go, Mike 51, Mike 51. Hey, calm down. Two, go. He's under pressure, and they get the sack. That makes it fourth and 12. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down to the 24-yard line. The Buffaloes have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Throws this one out to the right. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. Brought down at the 31-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Ready, green and, back, 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 back. and he's hit immediately. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They run it left. And down he goes around the 42 yard line. He throws. And it's intercepted by the senior quarterback. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. Man left, man left. First and ten. Ball on their own 37. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. First down. Grabs it and hammered right there.
couple of yards on the carry. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Now he tries to buy some time. Normally you look for the pass in those kinds of situations, but a very alert play stopped that run short of the sticks. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Fires it quickly. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. He's taken down around the 17-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. The safety came up from the secondary and made a nice, solid tackle. Quick toss. Finds the tight end for a touchdown. tight end. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Cincinnati's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires it out. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 51. Mike 51. So the option keeper will get him a first down. It's a very well executed option play. The blocking was there. The quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down. Here's a quick throw. Tackle made right around the 26-yard line. What great time to go with the play action. Defense was anticipating run. They came up to stop the ball carrier. The quarterback was able to find his receiver downfield. He makes a big-time play and a great catch for a first down. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. So with one quarter remaining, Cincinnati leads. 21-9. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Tight end right. Four down, four down. And the ball. Under heavy pressure. Makes a catch and he's got nowhere to go. Second down and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. was almost picked. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. And he's taken down at the 10-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it 37. From the 10-yard line, third down. Just throws this 
one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. They rolled the dice and went for it on fourth. And I'm sure they're happy with the result. And he hits the PAT. A nine play, 74 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Colorado is lining up to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Throws into coverage, just picked off. The 10. And it's a whole new ball game. the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown you don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here so they'll go for two and try to go up by three Colorado with a one point lead he's got it for two The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. Defense forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He's tackling at the 35 yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Slings it, and he's immediately tackled. Seven-yard play. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. They might get the one. Less than three minutes in the game.
the 37-yard line. Huge first down right there by the offense, Brad. At this point, they're just trying to work the clock and preserve the victory. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. Did you see how that big defensive line got such a good push on that play? That's exactly why they were able to stop him for a loss. Heading for the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. Cincinnati will use their final timeout. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. He gets hit out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Wow. That looks like a generous spot to me. I thought he was a little bit short. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Right, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. It's the ninth play of the drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. And the quarterback's going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. should do in our final tally in this one. 24-21, Buffalo. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Curve Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.